Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to use the Scenario Manager again under the What If Analysis. And my example here is similar to the data table and goal sick videos that I did for the What If Analysis. I just included several products here with quantity and price. And uh, again, this is the first step. You need to have a template with uh, inputs in, in this example shaded in green and also the proper computation or calculation for that. For the revenue profit or whatever then here uh, you cannot modify the calculation of only the inputs that's what we're going to do in the scenario now this is the base case so uh, i'm gonna put this base case first on our scenario manager and uh, the first thing that i will do is to call the step here so that you'll be guided on uh, the steps that i'll be taking i'm gonna hide it, highlight all the inputs here and then I'll go to data tab here, what if analysis, and then I'll choose scenario manager. And then I'm going to add now, click the add button here. And then I'm going to name it as a normal school days because the business is like uh, uh, supplies, school supplies. And if this uh, normal school days, that means uh, uh, that's the normal sales quantity and price that the store is offering to the students. And I'm going to click OK. And then you will see uh, the scenario values here. And I'm, get, I'm not going to change anything because this is the base case. Notice here that uh, it refers to cell reference here and not exactly the name of the quantity and price. So in my next scenario, I'm going to update that. Instead of cell reference, we're going to put uh, the exact name for a specific input here. So I'm going to click OK now and then close it, that's the base case. So uh, the second part is to highlight all of this and then put it in a name manager. Just go to formulas here and then create for from selection and then uh, choose left column, which is the default here because they choose this example here and then okay. Now it's been uh, saved on your name manager now, the second thing is to uh, call my steps for the second scenario. Uh, this time, I'm going to go to data tab here again in what if, what if analysis, scenario manager. I'm going to add uh, again. Now, the scenario name is beginning of the school year. That means it's a peak season for this store. And then I'm going to click OK. And you'll, you will see that... Uh, the cell reference before in the first scenario is now being updated into the specific uh, name of uh, the inputs that uh, we wanted to update. And this time, I'm, I'm going to raise the quantity into 800, 15, 600, and also the price 12, 17, and uh, 21. And click OK. If you wanted to show it here, the beginning of the year, or beginning of the school year scenario, just click show and your format here will be updated. The quantity and also the calculation and then close it. Now the third one, I'm going to call the third one here. This is the step. Now go to data tab, what if analysis, scenario manager, and then uh, again add. Scenario name now is school vacation. That means uh, it's like an off season for the store and then OK. Then uh, the quantity is now lesser because there's no uh, schooling on this period. So the price is also with discount, for example. So I'm going to use 9, 14, and 20. No, 19 for that. And then OK. And then uh, if you wanted to show it here for the school vacation, just show, click show, and the formula here or the template here is now updated. And then close it. That's it. Now uh, you can also can just go to data tab here and then what if analysis scenario manager and just choose the scenario and then show it that's it that's the uh, use of a uh, scenario manager you can also have a, a summary of all of those scenario by going to the data tab here what if analysis scenario manager and then choose summary here but before i do that i'm gonna name it as a uh, table again. I'm going to put it in a table manager again. I'm going to name it as profit so that when uh, I have the summary, you will know that the result on that part is uh, uh, 
is in reference for the profit. So, uh, okay. I'm going to go to data tab here. What if analysis scenario manager? And then uh, I'm going to click summary. If I will choose scenario summary for the result sales, I will write an indirect formula and my indirect cell will be this cell, B19 for the profit. I wanted to reflect the profit itself and also the value of the profit. I'm going to close it with a parenthesis and OK. Let's wait for the summary here to be displayed in another sheet and that's it. This is the scenario, the current values because that's the last scenario that uh, you showed and then these are all the scenarios, normal days, beginning of the school year and school vacation. This is the result. Now I labeled it as profit so that uh, the user will know that it's for the profit, not the revenue or cost or anything. So that's it. You can show it like that. And another example is with a chart. Of course, you can uh, choose, a, you can create a template here and then create a chart and then put it in a scenario. But uh, in this case, we're going to input again a scenario because the scenario manager works on a per worksheet, not, not on a whole workbook. So if you want to copy the scenarios here in the sum sheet, um, just go to data tab here, what if analysis, scenario manager, and choose uh, merge. Choose the merge, then choose sum, the sum sheet here, and then uh, all the scenarios are now in your work uh, worksheet for the with chart sheet here. Just show it, um, beginning of the school year show, and that's it. So actually, that's the step. You're going to merge it and then choose the sum sheet here, the scenarios that, the worksheet that contains the scenarios that you want to copy and OK. That's it. Now, um, every time you wanted to show the scenario, just go to what uh, data tab, what if analysis, scenario manager, and then uh, you, you can manually choose uh, the scenario and then show it like that. And uh, the chart will update on its own as well. Now, the, the other thing, uh, the other technique is also to make it reflect here and then uh, make it as a drop down. And then whatever, whenever you choose that option, that will automatically reflect. That's better than going to data tab and what if analysis and uh, things like that. So to do that, uh, just uh, find the quick access toolbar, toolbar here, the search bar here. Then uh, Excel options will appear and then uh, choose uh, commands not in the ribbon instead of the popular commands. So I'm going to choose commands in the ribbon and then I'm going to find the scenario here. So the scenario will be added on this part. So this is the scenario. I'm going to add it and then I'm going to click OK. And that's it. It's now reflected here. This one is for my solver. This is this is now the scenarios that we have. So when you click that specific scenario, that's the beginning of the school year. Uh, that the chart is also updating school vacation. That's the same thing. Normal school days. That's the same thing. And that's it. I think that's all of the scenario manager. Um, I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks.